So second problem, a two kilogram soccer ball is rolling on the ground at two meters per second. A soccer player kicks the ball, giving it a speed of 12 meters per second. What is the impulse given to the ball by the player? So let's draw our little diagrams, person, yay. All right, and they're standing there, and they're kicking the soccer ball, which was originally traveling at two meters per second. All right, and they changed the velocity to 12. All right, 12 meters per second. Cool. Known values. I don't know the impulse. We're finding the impulse. Um, I do know that it's a two kilogram soccer ball. And I do know the change in velocity. So it went from two to 12. All right. And so if we're finding the change in the difference between something, we can do 12 minus two. All right. This is, and we can, we'll put, just put a triangle above this. because we're just trying to find the change. So between 12 and two, the change is 10. All right, so the change in velocity is gonna be 10 meters per second. We're talking about velocity here, so how fast something is going. All right, um, <coughs> plug it in. So I've got I, or impulse, equals M delta V. I don't yet know my impulse, but I know the mass of this soccer ball is two kilograms. And I know, and no, we're gonna leave the units out of this just for simplicity. Um, I know that the change in velocity was 10 meters per second. And again, we're going to leave the units out. JK law. Um, okay, so multiply divide. I equals 2 times 10. Impulse equals 20. And you know that the units for impulse, so I equals 20. And impulse is measured in newtons. So that's it. Your final answer is 20 newtons. This is the force it would take to move a 2 kilogram soccer ball from 2 meters per second to 12.